hello my name is Ashley today I'm gonna show you three ways to preserve your curry leaf when you have a lot when you have a tree which I do and I pick them up and I have to preserve them, save them winter time for whole year around. So what do I do? Uh, because there is plenty that I cleaned it up from the stems, from the stems, the bottom part. I put them in a tray and I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's like 190, 200, just to keep it warm and let it dry. It won't lose its own taste or seasoning or anything. What it's gonna do, it's gonna dry just like a bay leaf and then you can crunch them you put them in a grinder and grind it and use it as a curry leaf powder and it will stay for a whole day and then you will check if it crumbles if it does that it means it's ready the second one what we have to do we have to put the oil in the oven on the stove on the burner and here I wash them and dry them I want to do it bunch bunch so what it does it fries it and then we put it in a separate place it will be like a crispy like chips even you can eat that way and we have to be the fire the burner high so it will cook very quickly we don't want to burn them but we're going to just fry them and you will be able to tell if it's done because it's going to you're going to see it's crunchy already it's just like a, a chips you just let it drip and put it one corner there you go oh smells so good tastes so good we don't want to let this beautiful tree plants to go for a waste so when you put them together, make sure that it's closer the top part. Pull them down. In case there is extra leaves, just break it down and then we can use it different way. So now we fried the curry. You can see it's like a crispy. It just breaks so easy you can hear the noise crunch. So anyway, what I did, I hold them one by one and I just pull them out all the leaves. If you want, you can do that from the beginning, take the leaves and fry that way, or you do it this way for me, it's much easier. And then I pull the, the skins and I took them out. So what we have to do, we don't waste the oil. What I wanted to do now, a little bit in a pan, I'm gonna put all oil because I'm gonna use them to preserve the same oil. But what I have to do now that it's hot, I can put, I'm gonna put cumin seeds and I'm gonna put here, mustard seeds, curry seeds, all kinds, black and uh, green, they all mix. I'm gonna saute this with a little bit in the same oil that I did in a curry. I'm gonna saute this for a few minutes, just to, the minute it start to get already uh, pop out, it means it's enough. We don't wanna burn them. The curry, the mustard, the, the cumin seeds, they all really smells good. Now these seasonings, of course, in any kind of dish you can cook, any chicken dish, any beef dish, meat dish, in a rice, it will give it very, very, very good taste because I've done it with those seasonings and it does taste and smell good. So I'm just gonna saute this a little bit and then we're gonna mix this with curry leaf. You can just take the, the leaf and you can eat like that. It's really crunchy. Now you can blend this in a blender if you want, or you can just fill it and squeeze it in the jar. I already hear the poppings. So when it pops, you can just turn it off. Pour that over your curry. You want all the seasonings. You don't want to waste it. There we go. And now we're gonna mix it. We missed one leaf here, branch. You mix them together. Oh my gosh. 
Now, like I said, you can put this in a blender and crunch it like a pesto you can do it. And you can take it with the spoon and you can use it in the food or you can, it's already cool off already. I'm gonna put this, stuff it in a jar just the way it is. While you have the plants, why not use it the right way and not, not let it go for a waste? Now you can squeeze this as much as you can. Now what do I do is the oil that we fried it, we have to take from the oil because it has a lot of good taste in the oil. It's all curry leaves. Tasty it is. So we're going to fill this in. Now you make sure we are preserving this. You just make sure that it's full. The oil is resting in all over the places. We don't want to leave empty space. So because you're going to put this away and anytime you need to use it, you'll take it out and you'll use it. You can use the oil, you can use the curry, and it has the mustard seed and the cumin seeds. And this way, you put it away. And this is the curry leaf. So, there is another way you can put them in a plastic bag. You can pick them up and put them in a freezer, just in a zip, uh, Ziploc bag. And they will stay nice and fresh. And the other one, I think I showed you, it's in the oven, 195. It has to stay all day. If it's, you see that it's kind of nice and crunch, dried up, it's ready. You can put that in a blender and blend it. But I'm gonna show you, now it's in the oven, it's getting ready. All right, this is the last thing that I wanna show you. Yesterday, we put the leaves in the oven on 200, 195, and slowly, slowly, it dried it up. When you scrunch it, it's already become like a powder. So you can put this, you can leave this like this and use it while you're sauteing your seasonings. Or you can put in a blender and blend it and make it grind it, but it's already concentrated, so you have to use maybe very little. If you want finer, you can put in a like a coffee little blender, but you it doesn't need that to do. And this is the one that we already sauteed uh, fried it in the oil and with the same oil that it got all the taste and everything it's in it So you can take it out again when you start to cook you saute again with its own oil or you can add oil And you can use that way just the way you always cook and this one is the third one That you will put this in a freezer just the way it is and when you take it out it will be nice, still nice and fresh. It's frozen and you can use this way. So this is the tree kind of a curry leaf that you can preserve. You can have it all year around, even a year after that you can use it so much. So anyway, I hope you'll try this. You will see it and you will enjoy it. And it will work because this is the way I use in my food, whatever food, that dish I would love to cook. All right. Well, thank you very, very much again. And if you like it, please subscribe my channel and like. And I thank you again. Bye-bye.